This is Pax Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 15, A Defiled Holy Mountain. Alright, so let's get this started. So, within half of this mission, we're just going to be wave dashing our way past the enemies. Uh, we're only going to be fighting uh, one or two of the enemies, and then we'll be getting to the boss battle. And so again, we're just going our way up the mountain here, inside the mountain here. There's a cave right there, just quickly wave dash so that uh, bats won't hit you enough to fall off. Go down this ladder, and then we're going to jump down here, so be careful. Make sure you have the camera down, and then uh, we're just going to go up. The reason is because there is a crow yokai there that could uh, kill us or throw us off the mountain. So right there is a Lickitung yokai, we're just going to use Kekai and just uh, wave dash our way uh, through these enemies and then when you see that torch immediately go to the left and go to another left again there's gonna be another crow yokai and a revenant so let's wave dash your way out of them let's go inside this for forest then immediately go to the right as quick as possible you don't want that enemy to notice you he could also throw you off this mountain right here so there's a yokai inside this house, so just get ready, Kekai, Carnage, uh, Lightning, Sloth, Weakness on him, and then just uh, defeat him as best and quick as possible. Alright, and then we're going to loot this corpse, and then we're going to go to our right, because uh, Right here is where you find the second shrine. Just gonna use it as a checkpoint. All right, so we're gonna switch to our right kitty, and I hope you do have it uh, with you. And then we're gonna use our matchlock to take down this uh, revenant that's right all the way on the other side. So that he won't be throwing uh, any firebombs at us when we go across the bridge. And then there's going to be a crow yokai there. Uh, as soon as he puts the staff down, we're going to immediately run, uh, dash past him. And then watch out right here. There are a couple of landmines there. And there's going to be a bunch of enemies right there. We're going to start off by using uh, their alert system. Uh, but we're going to quickly past that and quickly use the shrine so that they will be resetted and we are actually going to level ourselves up right here so we're going to increase our heart by two all right and then so the enemies don't notice the enemies don't notice us right here so we're gonna just gonna go up this uh, mountain and we're not gonna wave dash here we're just gonna just walk or run and we're gonna switch to our dual sword and we are going to use our matchlock to take down this enemy that's guarding this door because guarding that door is our the boss that we're facing named Ishida and while opening the door we're gonna switch to high stance and then get prepared uh, Kekai Carnage uh, cover the dual sword with lightning since Ishida is weak against lightning based attacks and as soon as we skip the cutscene and the battle starts, we're going to immediately use Sloth and Weakness on him. And then he, as soon as he attacks, just run right behind him and then just use Water Slash. And uh, hopefully you can use uh, Water Slash within uh, as quick as possible. But if not, uh, he'll start out by doing a, an attack from the air, just dodge that and then punish him with the Water Slash. And uh, hopefully if you have done this correctly, congratulations, you have defeated Ishida. Alright, so for the usual, just go to your inventory, um, look on your weapons and armor that you have, and if you have any prestige points, use them as much as possible. Alright, and uh, we've got our Wind Dragon Spirit. Well, we're not going to be using that, but if you're a spirit collector, uh, that's great. We're going to go to our blacksmith, and 
and you know, just replenish your ammo. And if you want to buy some weapons and armor as like an upgrade, uh, be my guess. Along with, uh, you can use it to disassemble and forge or soul merge. All right, and then we're gonna go to our shrine and go to offering and then sell any remaining armor and weapons. But if you've not sold them on the blacksmith, just use that on the offering from the shrine to gain more Amarita and Elixir. And if you have any spirit stones or hair locks, use them as best as possible. And then we're gonna go and level up and we're gonna again increase our heart by two. And then we're gonna go to the dojo and select a greater harmony. All right, so by uh, doing and completing this mission, we'll be able to unlock our Omeo Magic to level three and unlocking a skill that will allow us to cast our Omeo Magic quicker or instantly as possible. Here's how to complete a greater harmony. So we're gonna switch our uh, wooden sword to the Kusurigama. So use a Kusurigama, use a Summer Twilight, and then we're gonna switch to our dual sword, and we're gonna use the water shots against the stone enemies. And then a Lickitung, you guys, gonna come out. We're gonna use our Kekai, use Sloth, use a couple of water shots on him. And we're gonna event I'm gonna eventually cover my dual sword with water just to take him down quicker. And just wait for him to attack and then just uh, punish him by attacking. Alright, now that we've taken down the Lickitung Yokai, we are going to face our enemy that we fought, which is Mue. Uh, for those who have uh, already know my previous videos, uh, you would know how to defeat him. You can either uh, do it with Dual Sword or use the Kusurigama. But for those who are just jumping into this video, uh, I'll give you a quick uh, guide how to defeat Mue, safe or better. So basically, uh, he'll shoot lightning uh, four times. All you gotta do is run around by dodging those lightnings and then be as far away from him as possible for him so that you can allow him to use the laser. When he uses the laser, go to your left and then punish him by using a uh, water slash or a couple of uh, high stance light attacks on the dual sword or just use a high stance light attack on the Kusurigama. Uh, just do that two times and then he's gonna recover his stamina with a uh, lightning that's gonna be near him or whatever your location is. And then he's gonna do the four lightning strikes again and then just rinse and repeat. All right, so uh, it'll just be the same old, same old right here. So I'll just keep quiet and let you guys enjoy this battle. You have done this correctly, congratulations. You have defeated Nue again. Alright. 
just gonna exit here. All right, and then we're gonna go to our shrine. Uh, we're gonna go and uh, level up and increase our magic by one. Then we're gonna go to our skill set. And then we are going to Omeo, and then we are going to unlock uh, our Weakness and Sloth by level 3. And then go to the far right, and then we're going to unlock uh, or equip Awakening. Which, again, instantly and quickly uses our Omeo magic as possible. Then we are going to increase our Water and Lightning Talisman by level 3, Pure Mind to level 3, Kekai, Carnage by level 3, and we are going to use a new Omeo called the Guardian Spirit, which is also known as the Memorial Talisman. Uh, basically, again, it uh, summoning a, uh, the spirit that we selected to help us aid in battle. Uh, reason for that that's actually going to be useful uh, but I'll explain it uh, quickly later on all right then we're gonna go to ready jutsu so I actually unequipped all of my uh, omeo magic so that I give you guys what you need to equip so we are going to equip our level 3 water talisman level 3 lightning talisman all three weakness talisman level 2 and level 3 sloth talisman level 2 and level 3 of both kekai and carnage and then we're going to equip both guardian spirit talisman I'm just going to be setting them all up in the shortcuts. Then we are going to uh, go to Switch Guardian Spirit. And we are actually going to equip now the Lightning, uh, the Lightning Lion Spirit. And uh, we're going to be using the Memorial Spirit with him because on the next mission, uh, on the next video, the mission that we're going to is called the Samurai from Samoyama. All right, we're going to be finding all the Kodamas in a defile holy mountain so the first one we're just gonna go to the right go around the corner and we'll find the first cooldown all right and then for the next one it's gonna be inside this cave inside of the mountain and if you remember the the cave that had bats in it so we're just after the bats are gone, we're gonna go inside this smaller cave and then find the second cooldown. Alright, for the third one, just go down from this ladder. And we're gonna just gonna fall right here. We'll take some fall damage, but that's where you'll find the next cooldown. And then for the next one, we're going to go up here and jump down from there. And then within that cave, there is a revenant. Just watch out for him. Just take him out as quickly as possible. All right. 
Right. And then onto your right, you'll find the next Kodama. Right. So we're gonna go up here, up the hill, and then we're gonna go inside the, this cave. And then within this cave, take a left. There is gonna be a yokai up here. So watch out for that. And go across this bridge. And then hug the left side of the wall. There will be a cave on the left side, and then you'll find the next Kodama. For the next ones, be a little careful right here. There's going to be a few revenants right in front of you, along with bats within that cave. And then right here is going to be a bunch of archers that will try to take you down. Uh, as soon as you get out of the cave, immediately go to the right. Go all the way down, and you'll find the next Kodama. Alright, so we're going to go inside the forest, and go to our right, and go inside the house, and then we're just going to jump down, go across the bridge. I forgot to mention, uh, um, just letting you guys know, this was on New Game Plus, and I have defeated the enemies to make it easier for you guys to find the Kodamas. Uh, so yeah, jump down here, there's going to be a few enemies right here, so watch out. Go to the right, go all the way down, and you'll find in the corner the next cooldown. Alright, as soon as you go back, take a left, go all the way up, and watch out for the landmines right there. And then you already know about a bunch of enemies right here. Just quickly go inside the cave, and then right next to the shrine is the next cooldown. And then for the final Kodama, we're just going to go up this uh, mountain. And then, and as I said before, uh, wave dashing there is a little dangerous. It could fall off. Luckily, I fall off on the opposite side. Uh, and then on the right side of this house, you'll find the final Kodama. And congratulations, you have found all the Kodamas. Alright, let's go back to the nearest shrine. And then we're going to go to our blessings, which is on the left side of the shrine menu. And then we're going to check how many Kodamas we have in each blessing. And I hope this video has helped you out.